the sea devil has taken someone again. I'm not sure if you remember, uh, maybe last year, who knows, who cares? Someone decided to go visit the, the funeral site of the Titanic and God was like, this is outrageous and calmed them and they died. They went MIA and, well, they were never seen again. Sad, sad, sad. But again, who wants to go, you know, it's like, why would you pay so much money to go see a death site? Like, you won't pay three million bucks to go see, like, a World War II site. People do actually do that, so my point's not really working. But you know what I mean? Like, you would never go to a graveyard and go, wow, this is such fun. Can we have a look? Oh, my God, look at that, dude. Oh, my, dude, there's a, there's still, there's a guy, that dude, look at his skin, bro. You need some moisturizer down there, bro. All jokes aside, another gentleman has died, another rich gentleman and all this rich merry men have died because Aquaman, Poseidon, the sea devil, whoever lives down there, I'm telling you, fucking Godzilla's down there, I'm telling you, I swear on my, I swear, I just, I can't explain it to you, but I promise you, there is something dirty down there that is like the size of the fucking Empire State Building, this shit is gonna eat and consume us all if anything bad happens, you know what I mean, I tell you now, there are some demons down there that we can only imagine what would do for us, if you're wondering why I've got lip balm, I probably had this for about three years, minimum. You know, I don't really use it. Does it tell you the date on it? Anyway, I get distracted. What we're we talking about? People who dead. Six people MIA whilst yacht six, a luxury yacht. So a rich man sailing under the by the name as Beezen sank off the coast of Sicily, Big Boot, Italy, Kitten Little Sicily. Ba 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 ba. In the early hours of Monday, the vessel carrying 22 people, including British, American, and Canadian, emergency service rescued 15 people, including a one-year-old British girl. Well, thank God, it's only the adults who are MIA, I hope. Oh, God, I spoke too soon. Literally the next line. British tech entrepreneur Mike Lynch, his 18-year-old daughter, and the yacht chef are among them missing. Fuck, poor, poor... Sh Yacht man chef is MIA. You know, I feel bad for Mike Lynch, whoever you are. Mm. I'm sorry though, but if you're missing, like, you, you chowder, bro. You've turned into shark food. You know, there are some, uh, or Godzilla's food. You know, I'm just saying, dude, I hope they're found and I hope, you know, maybe they were saved by Aquaman and a, a sailing in Atlantis and shit. And oh my God, this is, dude, that doesn't exist. That guy is turned into chow. Look, I, I, I hope he's found, but he's, he's not going to be found. I think the more pressing matter here is though his 18 year old daughter this guy you know what i mean these rich people who just want to live on yachts and spend their money and hire chefs i don't give a fuck if that is the type of person you are then go for it bro i'm happy you're happy but look yeah let's see i need to keep reading it 22 people yeah i read that a man's body has been recovered he has not been identified but that was the chef's cook so clearly he must have been eating a prawn and choked on it when he fell and he's died so rest in peace to the chef that's very sad um i mean you don't need me to tell you it's sad like you know it's just a shame that these you know rich people keep dying spending all this money you know they you know it's just not fair on a them search is continuing into the night for six people missing after a british luxury yacht sank in a freak storm off sicily early this morning there were 22 people on board 15 were rescued one person is confirmed as having died among those Again, I know I made a few jokes, but it's actually, you know, it's a terrible accident. Inverted commas, was this the government? Get your theories in, who did this? I want to know what you think. Still unaccounted for is the tech entrepreneur Mike Lynch. It's Poor thought guy. the yacht may have been caught in what's known as a water spout, a tornado which hits over water rather than land. Our correspondent, Mark Lowen, is in Sicily tonight. Mark. So, we, uh, water. Dude was either killed by some other tech bro or Godzilla. They're the two theories. Get, I want to hear your thoughts down below. Just let me know what you actually think. Am I being silly? I know someone's died, but you know, I'm telling you, people die over a lot less than being a multi-millionaire tech entrepreneur with a fat-ass boat that's just got hit by a tornado on the sea. Have you ever heard of a tornado on the sea? I've seen that tornado film, and that looked pretty much on land to me, bro. Jane, the search operation is continuing here in Porticello. We are close to the Sicilian capital, Palermo, and you can see the emergency teams hard at work behind me. Obviously, their work is now hampered by the lack of lights. Now, it is thought that six of the 22 passengers are still missing and that they were sleeping in their cabins at about five o'clock this morning when the super yacht, the luxury super yacht, was caught up by a rotating car. Super yacht, the luxury super yacht, not just any super yacht, the luxury one, the top of the range, the biggest D and the digger dong. This shit is what you want. If you don't have this luxury super yacht, five thousand, 
You're not relevant, mate. You know, you're not important. I think this is just another example of why money is just terrible. I'm not saying being a commie is any better. But, <laughs> Korvaslava, let's be communist, yes. No, all jokes aside, I just keep wondering why he keeps calling it a luxury yacht, anyway. Column of cloud that engulfed the ship. It stood little chance. After the rescue, the retrieval. The sea giving up lives it snatched away. Ugh, horrid. Nasty. The, the worst part is it would have been so cold as well. You know what I mean? They're, they're, they're dead. They're dead. I'm sorry if, you know, you're a family member listening. I'm not sure you are. They're dead. You know, no one survives that shit. Not a chance. And not, not for now. You know what I mean? Not hours, now. Emergency teams have been scouring the site from the air and on the water where the yacht sank. 15 of the 22 on board were saved. Others, British, American, Canadian, weren't so lucky. The wreckage now some 50 meters below water where the search is focusing. It just shows it doesn't matter how much money you've got, how much power you think you have. There is only one winner here, baby, and that is the sea. <laughs> you know, I mean, look at that. It's a nice boat, to be fair, the bias and landing. Landing world to the boys and sand. And we're playing full at London and they speak like this, don't they? All right, son. A luxury super yacht that had won awards for its design, but that That's became beautiful. a death trap. The British flagged Bayesian photographed last night off the port of Porticello in Sicily before being hit by a heavy storm and a water spout. Oh my they God. are tornado like clouds. That's terrifying. Column of air Why didn't they like say? Hello, hello, there is a tornado that is not on land, it is on the sea, you better come in. Yeah, no problem, on. you know, what? why was no one told? Like, surely this did not just appear out of nowhere, you know what I mean? God didn't just go, abracadabra, you know? It... Which, in this case, smashed the mast and capsized the boat. These pictures nearby show the force of the winds at around 5am. The yacht couldn't withstand them. Charlotte Golunski, the mother of a one-year-old who also survived, spoke of holding her daughter above the water with her whole strength. All I could hear around me, she said, were the screams of others. Oh, horrible. It's horrible stuff. Look, obviously, it's a sad day for everyone. Um, uh, you know, it, it, no matter how you dress it up, at least the woman and the kid survived. You know, most people did. Unfortunately, there's still six missing. Um, there's a life lesson here, lads don't go on a boat and i don't know check the weather you know i struggled to comprehend that they didn't have a clue there was going to be a storm did no one go hold on a minute what's google say oh yeah rain oh dear it, storms tornadoes should, should we go back to shore nah fuck it, let's just stay on we don't want to mix with them peasants do we we, we just want to mix in with the rich folk not them fucking poor bastards terrible anyway yeah it's a sad story but choices